So tonight at almost 10:15, things have changed from talking about storms and rain to talking about falling temperatures. Yeah, with this cold front, temperatures will drop a little bit tomorrow, but it's going to be really noticeable by the weekend. We're talking about highs in the 40s Ooh. by Saturday. I heard that, Neil. I heard it. <laughs> yeah. It's coming whether I like it or not. So, okay. Pressing. Yeah, it's not morning lows in the 40s, afternoon highs in the 40s for yeah. the weekend. But let's take a look at what we have right now with long view with our sky view camera brought to you by the Monsoor Law Firm. We are seeing a lot of clouds out there uh, this evening here. Temperatures right now at 57 in Longview, 55 the dew points. So the dew points are dropping, which means the humidity is lowering. We have a south wind at around three miles per hour. We still have some noisy storms out into Sabine County near Fairdale and Fairmount. Uh, still seeing some very heavy rain. It's kind of stayed over this area for quite some time. Can't rule out some flooding within this activity uh, near Fairdale and near Fairmount as well into southeastern portions of of Sabine County. So that's something that we will have to watch out for as we head throughout these next couple of hours here. By two o'clock in the morning, we should be dry entirely with mostly cloudy skies and temperatures mainly in the 50s. We'll see a few showers from time to time as we head into your Wednesday morning. So your Wednesday morning commute may be a bit wet to work or school tomorrow. Again, we're not expecting severe weather for our Wednesday, just some cool rain. We'll see the clouds quickly clear out though as we head into your Wednesday afternoon and we'll see temperatures in the low to mid 60s for your highs. So that's actually right around average for this time of year. But another cold front moves in Wednesday night to Thursday. That will bring in a reinforcing shot of some colder air to our area. We'll start out in the upper 30s Thursday morning and then only warm into the lower 50s as we head into the afternoon with a few mid 50s into deep east Texas. By 10 o'clock Thursday night, temperatures are already starting to drop into the 30s and we should drop to near freezing by Friday morning. Now the normal high temperature is 60 degrees. We will be right around there for Wednesday, but then there's that drop in the temperatures heading into the weekend highs by Saturday only at 47 degrees, so it's going to be a lot colder. The reason why we see highs in the 40s Saturday is because of the increase in cloud cover and a chance for some rain. Monday will have the best chance of rain, though, as we head into next week. Looking even uh, fo more forward, six to day, 10 day temperature outlook. Uh, this is valid for December 13th through the uh, or December 19th through the 23rd, rather. So very close to Christmas. We are expecting uh, below average temperatures that chance those chances are increasing of seeing those below average temperatures, which would be in the upper 50s for highs on Christmas Day. And so if we are about you know, 10, 15 degrees colder than that. We could be talking about highs in the 30s and 40s as we head into the week and weekend of Christmas. So again, some colder air is certainly on the way. Uh, this is kind of the pattern we've been stuck in. We've had two weeks of warm temperatures this past two weeks. Before that, it was two weeks of cold weather, and now we're going to back to two weeks of some cooler temperatures for as we pretty much close out the month of December. We'll see a lot of sunshine though for Thursday and Friday, so at least we'll have that going for us. But clouds increase on Saturday, which increases or decreases is the temperatures rather and we'll see a few showers into Sunday, but Monday has the best chance of seeing some rain. So still some wet days ahead for us, but we will be drying out heading into tomorrow afternoon and then into Thursday and Friday. But again, those rain chances do return for the weekend, although we are not expecting a washout. Monday has the best chance of seeing rain with those high temperatures in the lower 50s. For deep east Texas, it is more of the same. Some morning showers on our Wednesday, but then we dry out Wednesday afternoon and see the sunshine return across the area. We'll see lots of sunshine for Thursday and Friday with highs in the middle and upper 50s. So it will be a little bit warmer in deep east Texas than compared to northern areas. We will be a lot cooler into the weekend, though, with a chance for some showers on Saturday and Sunday, and then a better chance of rain as we head into the day on Monday of next week.